Here we go, everybody. We're going into the first match of the China qualification. This is the quarterfinals. Guys, take it away. Yeah, Stoic, so far we got two out of the three units. I actually did not know that he had such a strong first pick with a speed lead, but the Valantis and the Juno are here, and then the Oliver and Etna on the other side. What would you love to see as a response from Mushroom? I mean, we'll see. I mean, FH clearly on the left side of the screen, they're taking the Juno. Most most Volantis users are going to be taking a Juno, so that it's not going to be placed on the other side of the field. I think by no surprise, we've seen this very familiar draft here, and not just for Mushroom, but I'm saying in general, and it is Rakuni with double uh, Sky Surfers in the form of Oliver and Miles. It's a very, very common team here. Ethna is just mm. a unit out there coming out for speed contest, and I think that's smart to play there. Maybe an additional speed lead might be mm. coming out here for Mushroom. We'll see what happens, but it looks like FH is going to be bringing a Connell bringing in a little bit more uh, control to his team here in a very oh. difficult unit to deal with is in the form of Wusa. I love the Wusa last pick. Very, very strong. He does have a couple single target beneficial effect removals, and now he brings up the Praha last. That brings another sustain, another uh, beneficial effect removal. And now we're going to see what are you seeing as a ban on the FH side of things? Does he want to just take out that first turn unit or? take out the sustain, what would you eliminate? I mean, Widget's going to be a big problem here. I think FH dra mm -hmm. FH's draft is very, very strong right now. But I mean, I get it. I definitely could see why the ban goes out onto the Connell. Makes sense. I was actually expecting to see a Praha ban because that signaled he yeah. was going to be letting that Wusa through and Wusa would have been an absolute mm -hmm. menace. And now Wusa's going to be under control a little bit better, but we'll see what happens, guys. We'll get into the very first match here between Mushroom and FH. Let's do this. I think FH has a very strong draft into this. Uh, a lot of control, a lot of damage, a lot of sustain. Very well balanced. We're going to see if this Oliver can make a big difference and if this is a very tanky Etna that can stay alive because there's a lot of additional damage coming to them. The Oliver with the proc goes for the reset, increased cool time on the Wusa. What, what is the monster right here to target on the side of Mushroom? On the side of Mushroom, it's uh, Boos is going to be a big problem. He needs to make sure he gets rid of this unit because obviously, mm -hmm. you know, Pra is going to be there, but Praha can't always. You know, be the one to go and control this Wusa and keep it under wraps here. Wusa is going to be built on violent, is built on violent, but this Asuna, like you were saying, it's not very, very tanky right now, and that's a big mm -hmm. key for Mushroom's draft here. He's looking to apply some defense breaks and really take advantage of his opponent there, but he's not getting that chance right now. That glancing is definitely going to keep Ethna back from being able to do too much out here, but you could definitely tell FH is trying to keep back A, that Ethna, and that Oliver at the same time. Yeah, if this Etna is off the field before the Pra takes a turn, that's going to be a big hit for him. A lot of damage coming in and one monster down, 3v4. It's going to be really difficult to get damage in here. I think the Wedge Jet would have been a way better ban right here. The amount of turns, the advantage that he's getting through this is going to be really difficult to get damage in and take that whole team off the field. Yep, most definitely. And like I said, just all those debuffs are definitely going to become a problem there. So it's like even in a moment where he really wanted to use that skill two and remove all these beneficial effects that are on FH's team there. He had to go with the skill three, heal up his team. But in a, in a way, you could say like maybe Rakuni could have been that form of uh, sustain for his team there. But you, you could just see the kind of predicament that FH put on the field for, for Mushroom to have to deal with here with the Wusa, with the Widget. And I feel like removing one of those... Um, uh, buffers out there was definitely the key, and I think just Wajet's too good right now. He got a really, really good buff, uh, and it's just a little bit too much for Mushroom to handle right now. Yeah, and the units seem very tanky. He's taking a lot of punishment in this Wusa, but the Wusa is barely half HP right now. He's going to keep taking out the attack bar from the Wajet, resetting it with the Oliver, but any type of control, stuns that come from the Volantis, sleep from the Wusa, stun from the Juno is going to cost so much for Mushroom side. Definitely, and I think one can look at this match and say FH doesn't have a ton of uh, uh, damage right now, but you got to keep in mind that second skill of Wusa applying a lot of damage onto the field. We've got the additional mm -hmm. damage coming out of the Juno, and that technically should be enough, especially as the time stats to tick. HP goes down, attack power is going to go up. You're going to see a lot bigger numbers coming from that Juno especially, so... Things aren't looking uh, like it's over for, for Mushroom. He still has sustain. He's got the prize. He's got the Rakuni. So 
things do have, you know, a direction it can take, but losing that Ethna was very, very big. He needed those defense breaks and really take advantage of them with that Oliver there, psyching a ton of attack, uh, attack bar and that turns. Yeah, what's the prize off the field? This is gonna be really hard to take back. And I think that the additional damage, like you were talking about, this team doesn't look like it has a lot of damage, right, Stoic? But then you start thinking about the additional damage from the Juno, the second skill from the Wusa, a lot of support, sustain, and little by little, he starts chipping away and takes the first win. Yeah, very big win for FH there. Like like I said, it was just a very, very controlled draft. He, he put a lot on the table for Mushroom to have to worry about. And that's some excellent drafting right there. And these are the kind of things that you're going to see a lot of in SWC, where it's like safety, safety, lots of safety. Uh, he was very, very comfortable, and that's kind of what you want to see. And I think this is definitely showing, like, FH is definitely a contender a lot of people have to worry about. You know, Taz being a champion, Les being a champion. Look out, because I think FH is definitely coming for him. That's a very, very good note. Game two, the bands now swap around, takes out the Etna, the Wedjet's off the table, so we're gonna probably see the Yan Hong and the Veronica like you talked about. I think it's a very interesting Ciara pick. We remember that Mushroom is the one that likes using Ciara, so he steals that speed lead, and now two very high base speed monsters. Mushroom is saying, I want turn one and that's it, but the sustain once again on FH's side. What would you love to see from Mushroom right here to finish up this draft story? Uh, I'm not too sure what I want to see out of Mushroom because I mean I do like what he's bringing to the table right now. I'm a big fan of the um, uh, 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 Sekhmet. I'm a big fan of the Sekhmet right now. He does have a speed lead. I think the speed lead is going to come through. I really, really don't like this Douglas Ooh. last pick. I feel like this is a little bit desperate to throw down a Douglas like that. I think Masha's great. So Sekhmet uh, Yan Hong Masha, I think those are solid picks. I'm never going to hop on a bad like Oliver. I think Oliver's definitely going to be fine in any situation whatsoever. But I don't really like the Douglas. I don't think Douglas carries the victory here. And again, uh, FH, he's got the Veronica. Uh, the Shizuka really just rounds oh, everything up. Oh, that's a I, great I'm a last pick. <laughs> Man, it, it's so tough, dude. Uh, FH, very solid draft. And it's like comes down to that Shizuka. That's a very, very dangerous unit to just drop onto yeah. the field like that. So I think we need to see uh, resets landing true. Uh, we need to see some Oliver turns really starting to rotate here. I don't think Douglas is going to be the one that is going to be extremely impactful here. But hey, it could be wrong. Welcome to Summoner's War. Yan Hong definitely gets the ban. Ciara getting the ban out here, and he wants to remove that speed lead from the field. So definitely going to be seeing a turn one mushroom. I really, really like that. I agree with you that the Douglas was a little bit rushed in this match. Doesn't feel like he can take everything, but he trusts Douglas. That's why he removed the monster that could blow him up. Let's see if Ooh. he's completely right. We're going to find yeah, out. Yeah, that was a, a lot, lot of damage, of damage coming right out. there. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that, that could have been it right there, to be honest this. with you. Beautiful reset on the Shizuka, no res. Surprisingly, everything applied on this Douglas. The stun comes through if he gets the reset. Yes, and Chris cool time and a proc from the Oliver. Incredible monster, one more reset, three monsters without skills. Can he remove this Veronica quickly enough? Wow. And the glancing is so powerful, my friend. So powerful that, that the... The second landed absolutely nothing with Curse of the Beautiful. Curse of the Beautiful, guys, if you did not know, lands a lot of negative effects. Well, nothing landed on the field with that Curse of the Beautiful, which is not at all what uh, Mushroom needed to see right now. So, obviously, the Veronica is looking a little low right now, but I do think FH technically is still going to be very, very fine right now. Keep in mind, Shizuka, big impactful unit. I think this is it going to be it for the Veronica. Veronica does drop here, but I think things are still a little safe for FH. Yeah, I really like this. I don't think that this draft was as strong as the one on the first uh, match, but there's a lot of comeback potential. The question right here is, does he have a lot of damage to kill this Douglas later on? The Veronica didn't, you know, uh, it showed on turn one that it had a lot of damage. The Valances applied both buffs, so it's going to be really interesting to see once this Juno is oh, not off the oh, field man. and gets a stun on the counter, my friend. I was about to say, if he's able to capitalize on that Juno, Douglas takes out that Juno, and then Woo! that's going to be it. These are insane revenge despair stuns coming out of the Juno. Juno single-handedly just being so chaotic right there. But this is actually not so bad for Mushroom anymore because he had to get rid of the Juno. And he now got rid of the Juno, so things are looking a lot better for him. He has to just take the kill. You have that opportunity. Uh, it's, it's getting a little grim, to be honest it's with you. Douglas but I do think the Shizuka... Shizuka still can be a very impactful unit here. <gasps> yes, because she can apply everything else on him. And the surprising thing is that the Volantis did not get countered. She does it. 
a bunch of debuffs. Only one turn right here. She has to revive. Let's see if the Juno can deal a lot of damage through the... Oh my god! That Douglas is probably gonna die right now. No, it yes. really is. That is <laughs> massive. <laughs> FH taking another one and putting Mushroom down in the Redemption Bread.